Hi everybody, I'm Gabriela Oliveira, and I'm the author of a recently published article on the journal Educação e Realidade, Education and Reality, entitled Transnational Care Constellations and Education, Immigrant Children's Ties Across Borders. And I'm really excited to talk to you a little bit about, you know, kind of where I was hoping the article could take our discussion on some of the immigration questions that we have. Uh, for our times, and also talk to you a little bit about the methods that I've chosen in terms of to conduct this particular research. So this research is based on a long-term engagement, ethnographic engagement with Brazilian children and Brazilian families who are newly arrived to the Massachusetts area. So what's exciting about this is that I was able to capture a lot of what children were discussing inside their classrooms when they talked about, you know, what they missed and how they still felt connected with their countries of origin, in this case with Brazil. So in Massachusetts, you know, along with other places in the United States, um, bilingual education for a very long time was not, was banned. So then what we saw was then when bilingual education was back to being legal, you know, a couple of years ago, a lot of uh, dual language programs started to pop up again. So I was able to get into a program where there's a lot of newly arrived immigrants, you know, children who are in kindergarten, first and second grade and are talking about these very sometimes complicated issues on immigration and missing family and the ties that they still have with their, with their country of origin, but inside of the classroom, right? So kind of the connection between this very important moment in their lives, which was leaving what they understood to be home, right? And then going someplace else, but also being in school and being able to speak in Portuguese at the school. So these two factors together brought us to kind of this discussion in terms of for future research, it's really important for us to think about what are children saying about their immigration journeys, trajectories, experiences, and how are those experiences manifested inside of the classroom? And then a third question would be, how can teachers and administrators kind of hone in um, a lot of the narratives that children are offering and telling us, right, every day in schools, and think about that as ways to teach in the classroom, to support children and families, and to understand how to better assist and help them, right? So the main thing here that for me was a really interesting finding was this connection with grandparents across borders. So in many of the assignments that the teachers would ask the children to do inside the classroom, like, you know, do a drawing, write a sentence, write about your favorite thing, these things would make kids start talking to each other. And a lot of the conversation had to do with grandparents who were still in Brazil and how much they miss them. And they use the word in Portuguese, saudade, which is this idea of the longing, right, that one has. And again, these are young children who were able to very, you know, eloquently describe what missing is, what adaptation means, and how changes really impact the ways that we learn and the ways that we exist. So with this article, I'm hoping that more folks can join in into a discussion about first listening to children inside of classrooms, not just about, you know, what they're learning in terms of curriculum, but about their experiences. And then think about what does that teach us, right? Adults, uh, researchers, practitioners, teachers, academics, all of us in terms of what kind of policies in place would benefit this particular population. So I really hope you enjoy the article and you feel free to email me with any questions or comments you may have. Thank you so much.